Good day, you are welcome to another edition of our online class, and today we want to talk about things and gates. Now, regarding electric fencing and gates, um, there are scenarios where you have gates. Um, I think a couple of persons are having challenges on how you look your gate. So let's go straight to business. The red pen is going to indicate uh, the life and the black is just for this why the green is going to be for the earth so let's take assume we have are we using the six lines uh, configuration here live uh, live live earth and live Yeah, now you understand sorry let me finish up this uh... now because this is a very straight perimeter what we need to understand is there's always a loop from here as so as you know you marry here and here connection between these at edges right connection between these at edges Okay, this gets slides this direction. Let's assume we also have a bracket on the skate. Okay, this might be shorter than the other one, doesn't mean, but we'll make sure we cover one we need to cover to achieve. Okay, this is live, 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 and uh, live. Okay, so here. Um, let me get my earth. Uh, these are earth, right? And these are earth. Okay. So here we have the bobbins for this. Okay. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, from my configuration, notice the life and life line that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we want to connect these aspects. Let us assume we have our energizer. Where do we have our energizer? Okay, do I make it um, a bit complex? Put our energizer somewhere. Let's say we have. Please let me wipe this. Pardon me. Already understand that this slides this way. Okay, slide this direction. Okay. Um, can we have an energizer here? Okay, let's assume we have uh, an energizer here. We're having an energizer here. Okay. Let me identify each of these. I want to identify each of these um, uh, terminals with the right color so we understand this is the earth terminal here. All right, and we have a live terminal here. Okay. Now we've run all the cable, we've looped every of the edges, edges here, all of them have been looped. Now it's for us to connect our energizer. Okay. Now, this energizer seems far from this edge, so we're having it at this very point, okay? So, if we have it at this corner, what we want to do 
is to to connect to this point now you know if you connect it from here it will be so wrong for us to just bring this cable from here mm -hmm. and connect here this connection and bring this other one connect here now it will be so wrong to have this like this on the same line because there's a con connection between here and here so all we need to do here is to open this point the wire drain from here to here you need to bring in a spring here spring spring and hook you put a spring and a hook here to separate this line from this line therefore we cannot take one of our cables here to this end here and one here so if we have it this way one here one here it means we've connected the output of the life from the energizer so um, for the earth we can as well do the same thing um having two cables from the earth so let's let's have it this way i want to use the four cables four four cable system four cables so i'll take one from this all right same thing i did here so i'll just come here break this line okay i will now add a spring here spring and hook so this and this they are spring and hook separating this side from this side so all i need to do is to tap the other one from here all the way to the energizer right so immediately this is done what we need to do next is to make a connection now i'm going to treat this one separately and this place separately yeah well this is how we go okay now this life is connected here it's not getting to this other end so it's going this direction so from here, all I need to do is to link this to the next life. Okay? So now, let's assume, let's see the out. Out. So this is our flow. Okay, this gets here. Right? From here, it gets here. Still moving. Still moving. Note that this one is from the other one, but we continue to move here. We're going to get here. That's the third line. It gets here. Now, I don't need to come to the last line because here, this one is connected. If I come here, it means I've closed all the circuit. I've, I've left these other ones on top. So I'm going to leave this one out for now. So I'll move to the next available one here, up here. So this is going back. It gets here, follow it through. This is the same line here. Alright, so moving all the way here. Okay, gets here, moves here, moves here. It gets here. I'll move to this other life, okay? So move all the way here, it gets here. This is life, please don't forget. All right, now it gets here. Now, the only live available is the last one at the bottom. So I'll bring this one all the way to the last, loop it to the last. Marker is messing up. Now, if I get here, I'll pause this, this stuff here now. I can leave it, if I had closed here, so it means um, I've completed the circuit already. Oh, sorry, yes. If this one gets to this place, okay, sorry, sorry, not here, apologies, please, sorry, this is moving all the way, it gets here, it's supposed to marry this guy, if, it married, if I take this one close with this, it means there's a complete flow from there to this one, to the last line, which comes all the way last and ends the circuit here, so it's a complete system, let's assume we're doing this, so let's just close it, we can open it later on. So now this one returning all the way gets here 
FTL and NCL, and it returns back to this right there. So this live is complete. Just hold on, we'll deal with this bit. So now, what do we need to do about the earth? Now this earth, let's assume this is the out, sorry, not this color, using our green marker. This is out, that's the way it gets here. When it gets here, it can't pass through this side because of the spring here, so it moves this direction. I'll take this all the way to this. It moves in like it gets here, continues, continues here, it gets here, this direction from here. So it's going back, okay, gets here, all right, comes all the way here, here, and it stops here, so it returns to the energizer. So it means this circuit is complete. Now I want to work on this gate. Let me tell you the, the, the secret here. Now this has been, everything here has been looped except this gate. We will not de deal with this as a separate entity. The gate will deal with the gate as a separate entity. Now because the slide gate, there's need for you to apply your gate contact, okay? Now, the male part of your gate contact you know the gate contact is something like this. Um, let's assume we have something like this. We have this is a two pole. We are going to use the two pole anyway. Okay, so we can emit the earth from that. So here you have the terminal here, terminal here. You have this stuff here like that on this part. Then this is the mill. The mill comes like this. So this is the male that comes into the female, all right? Now this male is attached to this gate. Having this like that out. Then the female is attached to your pillar. So this one comes up all the way. It slides out, opens, all right? When it comes in, enters into the female, okay? This one that is from the gate comes in, enter this. Now let's make a sketch more elaborate so that we'll see the cables. Now, on this part, we have one terminal here and we have another terminal here, okay? Here we have one terminal here and we have another terminal here. So, Maybe you have this one here and you have this one on the pillar attached to this pillar. Cable for me, what this is where the, the cheat is. Now, most times this gate contact, maybe it's placed here. When it opens, the way it's designed, I think we've talked about that. Maybe we'll talk about that in another class, not here again. So let me, all you need to do is to come here, open this live. Open this live. Remove the, the cable you're using, linking it. Now, take one from here. All right, or do we go down with this one? Let's just go to the, okay. Let's just, no, let's just add this one here. Now, one of the wire, I see if we're bringing it to this one. This is what we have here. I just want it elaborate. This is it. Connected to somewhere here, one of the, this one is connected here. Then take the second from here. to this one. So, it means one will come here, one will come here. Here, here, this is all we have here. So just take it, I just want it bigger, all right? Then, another thing I need to do is to now take from this, now this one, from this, take one from this terminal. My red marker is crying for help to this one and take the other one from this bottom one 
to this from this one. So all you need to do here is to complete your loop here. This to this, this to this, and this to this. That's just it. Link this one up. If you close up the circuit, you can also isolate the, the earth on the gate because that can just be on its own because it's not a triple uh, gate contact. So now, whenever this gate slides out, this one shifts, this one will remain closed. Maybe this one comes in, it pushes the closed time that you open it, while this from this fence closes this part of the gate contact. So this is just what it looks like. This is what it looks like, all right? This is just what it looks like. It's just that so many of us have been asking questions regarding this. And that's why I said I'll take my time to explain this. I hope this, this uh, lecture meets you well. Um, till we meet again in our next class. Do have a lovely week. Bye for now. The Food Tech Tea. Shady.